Welcome to this short video looking at the latest version of TechType Express UK. Version 4 allows users to conduct tests in accordance with EN 13829 and the ATMA technical standards. It allows the user to collect data to comply with the reporting requirements of the test standards and ISO 17025. For members of the ATMA Competent Persons Scheme, the software allows the users to lodge their test data. By selecting Business Info from the option menu, it is also possible to add information about the testing company that will appear on the pre-configured reports. A new addition to the software is the ability to add logos to the reports. The user can select up to four logos at the location shown. Simply select the location you wish to add the logo and select Load New Logo. Selecting Equipment Info from the Options menu will allow the user to enter information about the equipment used to undertake the test. This includes the make and model, the identifier such as a serial number, the UCAS calibration identifier and the UCAS calibration expiry date. All of these fields must be complete in order to conduct a test. The calibration expiry date will be compared against the test date and where the equipment is found to be out of calibration this will be recorded as a deviation in the deviations page of the software. By selecting enter custom fan calibration the user can enter the calibration coefficients from the last UCAS calibration. The software is provided with generic calibration coefficients. These must be changed to those obtained at the last calibration. Failure to do so will result in a deviation being reported. By selecting accreditation and scheme information, the user can enter information regarding what competent person scheme they are a member of, whether the company is UCAS registered and their registration number, and finally the lodgement and web service credentials that are required if you are to use TechTite to lodge your test data. The client information screen allows the user to record information about the client and the building under test. The test engineer's name is also recorded here along with their unique lodgement ID. To ensure that the test date and time is recorded accurately, a sync button has been included to sync the test date and time to the PC date and time. Two reference fields have been added to allow the user to record their own references against the test. In the case of the customer reference, this will be uploaded along with the lodgement data. It will also be present in any downloads from the lodgement system. It will not appear on the test report. The building information page allows the user to record information about the building being tested. The fields are those required by the test standards and the criteria used by building regulations to determine different building types to allow sample testing where applicable. Many of the fields have a list of the most common options. However, where your option is not available, it is possible to type any text you require into the field. The test conditions page allows the user to record the condition of the building under test and the location of test equipment. The building preparation field should be used to note how the building was prepared for the air tightness test, including any valid temporary seals. The building preparation deviations from test standard field must be used to record all deviations from the test standard in relation to the building preparation. This includes any invalid temporary seals. It is a requirement of the ATMA Competent Persons Scheme to recall the mastic sealing status within the building. The most appropriate option should be selected from the drop down list. It is a requirement to record the location of the fan assembly and the location of the internal and external pressure tubes. These should be recorded in the fields provided. The test observation and comment field allows the user to record any further information that they may feel is relevant. It is not reproduced in any of the reports or exports. The test setting page allows the user to select the lodgement type and whether the test is a retest or not. They can also select the test standard, the type of test method and the regulation being complied with. Where a new regulation comes into force, this may be manually typed in. As with previous versions of TechType, this screen is also used to identify the test method whether that be manual or auto, and to set the automatic test settings. 
The data entry fields for manual tests are very similar to previous versions of Tektite. The number of usable data entry points has been increased to 20. The option to select a standard barometric pressure has been removed to ensure that testers use the correct barometric pressure for the test. The test results page is again similar to previous versions of Tektite with the addition of the TS1 leakage area calculation. A deviation from standard page has also been included. This relates to measurement data and equipment. Where incorrect readings or invalid readings have been taken, they will be shown here along with any equipment that is out of calibration. For Atmos CPS members, TechType provides three methods for lodgement. Provided the user is connected to the internet, he can use the Upload Current Test to Atma Web Service option from the File menu to upload the data directly to the web service. Once complete, a success message will be displayed upon the screen. The second option is for the user to create an XML file with the current test data. They would then need to manually upload this data by accessing the Atma Lodgement website. The third option allows the user to create a CSV file that contains multiple tests. Again, this would need to be manually uploaded to the Atma Lodgement website. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries regarding instrumentation or software, please contact Bizria Instrument Solutions. If you have any queries regarding the Atma Competent Person Scheme or Lodgement, please contact the Atma Scheme Manager.